Hello, my name is Jeremy Rignaris, and welcome to the Choose SolidWorks screencast series. Designing in 3D gives you so many benefits, from visualization, to clash detection, to being able to make design changes quickly. But when things start to go wrong, you can spend more time fixing problems than finishing your job. So this is not a topic openly discussed when choosing a new CAD system. With most CAD systems, it's not easy to understand why things have gone wrong and how to fix them. SolidWorks, on the other hand, provides tools that help both novices and advanced users work like solid modeling experts. And that's what this screencast series is all about. When your design fights you, only SolidWorks fights back. Sketching is the cornerstone of any design. Whether it's a concept sketch or the start of a fantastic new 3D model, you'll want to make sure that your sketches are behaving as expected. In this example, you can see there are no dimensions locating this top hole. To precisely locate it, all you need to do is just edit the sketch and add the dimensions. Just as overdimensioning a manufacturing drawing can cause confusion on the shop floor, overdimensioning a sketch has the same effect. You can reuse dimensions just by dragging and dropping them into the right place, a real time saver. But when you add a dimension that would overdefine the sketch, alarm bells go off. First, you get the option to turn the new dimension into a reference dimension or make it drive the sketch, which in this case is what you want. SolidWorks warns you there's a problem, but simply clicking on the message saying that it's overdefined takes you into the Sketch Expert, which is one of a set of tools designed to make your life easier called SWIFT or SolidWorks Intelligent Feature Technology. Sketch Expert will diagnose how your sketch was created and offer various solutions. As you cycle through these solutions, the dimensions or constraints that can be deleted to make your sketch solve are clearly shown on the screen. You can delete this constraint which holds these two holes vertically one above the other, and now you have a valid solution. If you also want to control the size of this cutout, simply add a new dimension as before, and the sketch expert will help you sort out any conflicts. The more complex the sketch, the greater number of possible solutions. This time the constraint you need to delete is shown first. Using the Sketch Expert, you can solve the problem in a matter of seconds, so no more scratching your head trying to work out what's going on. The Swift tools extend into a number of common areas that can cause problems for unsuspecting users. For instance, where you get a set of edges coming together, it can take even an expert a few attempts to get it right. The Fillet Expert enables you to select similar edges all in one go. For example, you may want all the internal radii. When you add more edges to the selection, some of them don't preview. No preview, no fillet. Well, at least it's warning you in advance. But it's nothing to worry about. The Feature Expert has detected that those fillets can't all be created in one shot, so it's looking at possible ways to add all of these fillets. And you can see it's done a good job by creating several fillet features, something that would have taken a lot longer to do manually. However, the feature expert can't second guess your design intent, so some of the corner fillets may need fixing. This corner, for example, would be difficult to manufacture, and it was created like this because it was added after the underlying fillet. It's simple to fix, just drag one fillet after the other. Some corners, though, may not be that easy to fix, but the fillet expert can take care of those. Changing a corner type is as easy as choosing the one you like best. This corner can then be easily copied to all the other corner fillets that need fixing in the model. The magnifying glass really comes in handy when working on small details like this. Just because SolidWorks made the fillets for you doesn't mean that you don't have control over them. If certain edges need to be modified, but they're part of a larger group of filleted edges, it's not a problem. Just select the ones to change and change them. SolidWorks will just make an extra fillet feature to accommodate the changes. Another common issue when designing is adding draft. 
3D CAD experts know to add draft before the fillets, which means you have to hunt around to find which fillets are affected by the draft before you can proceed. You guessed it, the draft expert works all that out for you, and the draft feature is added in the correct position in the feature tree. If you've ever used 3D CAD, you'll really appreciate how much time and effort the fillet and draft expert would save you. As customer requirements change, so do your designs. If you need to delete a feature like this pocket, SolidWorks provides options to keep its defining sketch in all of its dependent features, so you can reuse them again later or remove them. Upon deletion, SolidWorks has quietly put a warning triangle against another feature. Hover over it with the mouse and you get good feedback as to what the issue is and how to fix it. Nice thing is, if this design is still being modified, you don't have to tackle the issue now if you don't want to. In fact, you can even save the part and carry on working on it some other time. But let's fix it now. If you edit the sketch, the brown colored dimensions are the problem as they're dangling in space. Selecting them highlights where the edges used to be, a great way of remembering what was there before. Again, just drag and drop them onto another edge and the job's done. To help fix broken assemblies, there's another Swift tool, the Mate Expert. Mates hold components together in an assembly, allowing you to create mechanisms very easily. As designs get more complex, the number of mates increases, and there's always the chance that you may add too many mates, and then all of a sudden your mechanism doesn't work anymore. Like in this example, you can clearly see that these two faces don't line up, but you can force them to line up anyway. SolidWorks lets you know that this mate conflicts with what you have already, but you're given the option to force that mating condition if you choose. If you get an arrow and big red crosses in the feature manager, you can manually try to work out what the problem is, but why not use the mate expert? A box showing all the mates appears when selected. A callout indicating which parts are mated to which shows up on screen. You definitely want this to be tangent, so you can force SolidWorks to use this mate. This has a knock-on effect, so you can visit each problem mate until you find the one that's not needed. And in fact, it turns out that the one that was just added is causing all the problems. So you can edit it, suppress it, or delete it. The bottom line is, when something like this throws up an error and you're struggling to find what the issue is, SolidWorks has the tools to find the problem fast and with clear, easy to understand feedback, so you know what must be done to make things right. When your designs fight you, only SolidWorks fights back. Thank you for taking this quick tour of some of the troubleshooting tools inside SolidWorks. We strive to deliver simple but effective tools to help you focus on creating fantastic designs, not fighting with a CAD tool, and to make it an enjoyable experience too. For more information and to see other screencasts in this series, please explore the SolidWorks website or contact your local SolidWorks reseller. My name is Jeremy Rignaris. Thanks for watching.